watched Netflix, uh, the l- most recent show that they've dropped. It's called Dammer. It's terrifying. And we'd love to know your thoughts on it. So you may be on YouTube watching Bailey Sarayan and the guys from BuzzFeed Unsolved telling you true crime videos for fun. You might even be the type of person who watches horror movies. Rookie, he said, watching Dammer was an uncomfortable idea. I have been emotionally and mentally affected. Oh my God, is it that bad? Only my best friend and I would be comfortable watching Dammer while having dinner, i.e. it's not the type of thing that you're watching home alone. By the way, if you're watching our full show, you'll see a snippet of the trailer. We started it, like the fir- first 50 seconds, it like it lures you in with this like false, happy music and you're thinking, oh, huh, this is, this looks okay. Honestly, you know, uh, shows like this and documentaries, movies like these, like really bring to light just how many criminals get away scratch free. On did, did he? I mean, yeah, he he got away with these crimes for more than a decade, no? Oh, yeah. but at the end. Yeah, I mean, but the the fact that they continue doing these things, even with uh, Ted Bundy, was that that's his name, right? Ted Bundy. It, it was such a the, the whole thing surrounding him and his looks and he's charming and women at uh, women when it came to like just that specific incident were like oh if Ted Bundy was to commit a crime on me I would be okay with it you know like just the there is a morbid fascination yeah with crime documentaries yeah um, but what they're saying is like yeah you could love crime documentaries or crime shows but it's this one is just that little bit more gruesome Shahir can you give us like a quick Your summary of what you thought of the show? What is this? The most terrifying show that he's created. Netflix paid him $300 million to come up with these shows, and this was his fourth and most terrifying he's ever created. Um, $300 million. Someone's like, I just watched Great British Break Off. It was wholesome. (laughs) Why do I need to watch this other show? Um, Can someone... uh, Can, can't believe people are only recently hearing about it. Uh, true crime junkies always knew it. So yeah, it's basically really scary. Um, anyone on Instagram, if you're watching the show, have you watched it? Would you recommend someone like get together later and, and have a little... I'm so down. <laughs> watch it. Oh, someone's saying turn it up on Netflix. Great show. I mean, I, I would watch show? it just to know what the hype is about. I, there's no way I'd watch it. The last... Have, do you like scary stuff? I mean, I do. Because I don't get scared easily with the last... No. You know what the best one for me was? It was a thriller slash horror and was The Orphan. Have you seen The Orphan? I don't watch this type of stuff. You must watch The Orphan, if anything. It is so good. And the plot twist Mm. will have you shook. I don't want to be shook. No, no, you want to be shook for this one. It's like a thriller slash horror. So it's not all horror. So you're into that type of stuff. So you should be watching this one. You can report back. I feel like it's too gruesome, but I don't know. But yeah, I'll watch it just to see what the hype is about. Okay, report back. But now we move on to something that is not at all gruesome in any sense. Uh, 